Today we're going to um, we'll be solving multi-step equations. So let's get started. First equation that we're going to tackle today. If you notice, this equation is different from the previous equations because you have variables on both sides. You have terms of variables on both sides. You have a plus 2x over here and a plus 5x here. I would say that in order to solve this type of problem, I would find the term that has an x and a smaller and the smallest term that has an x. You have a plus 2x and a 5x here. I would move the 2x first. So in order for me to move this 2x, remove this 2x, I'm going to subtract, do the opposite of plus 2, which is subtract 2 on both sides. This is going to create a zero pair. If you have not watched my video on adding integers, uh, please watch that video and that will explain this procedure right here. That's going to leave me with 6 on the left. 5x minus 2x is 3x plus 9. Now I want to, since my x's are on the right hand side, I want to move this term on the left hand side. So in order for me to get rid of a plus 9, I'm going to subtract 9 on both sides. This is going to create a zero pair. The plus 9 and the minus 9 create a zero. That's going to leave me with 3x on the right and negative 3 on the left. We're back down to a one-step equation, and I have a video on that if you haven't watched that. So we're going to divide both sides by 3. This is going to create 3 divided by 3 is 1, x, and negative 3 divided by 3 is negative 1, and I can simplify that by saying x equals negative 1. And with all equations, you need to check it, because we want to make sure that x equals 1. We want to make sure that our solution is correct. So I'm going to substitute negative 1 in for my x. So wherever I have an x, I'm going to write negative 1. Now, my purpose here is to solve both sides individually and determine if I end up with the same thing at the end. 6 plus 2 times negative 1 is negative 2, and 6 plus negative 2 is 4. Over here I have 5 times negative 1 is negative 5, and negative 5 plus 9 is 4. Since I have the same solution on both sides, I know that negative 1 is the answer to this problem. Let's look at the next one. Again, I want to, I'm solving a multi-step equation. I have variables on both sides. I want to find my smallest x term. My smallest x term. I have a plus x here, a 1x here, and a plus 4x here. So I'm going to move this plus x first. So I'm going to subtract x on both sides. This is going to create a zero pair. So on the left hand side, I'm left with 12 equals negative 3. Negative, I mean, uh, 4x minus x is plus 3x. 
And if you're having difficulties with this, uh, please watch my video on combining like terms. So now I need to move this plus th this minus 3 on the other side because I want to isolate my 3x on this side. So I'm going to add 3 to both sides. I'm adding 3 because that creates a 0 pair here. On my left, I'm left with 15. On my right, I have 3x. I have a one-step equation. I'm going to divide both sides by 3. 3 divided by 3 is 1x. 15 divided by 3 is 5. So therefore, 5 equals x. But I'm going to check it just to make sure that my work is correct. So I have 12 plus x equals negative 3 plus 4x. I'm going to substitute 5 in for my x. So 12 plus, instead of writing x, I'm going to write 5 equals negative 3 plus 4 times 5. I'm going to solve one the left side, then solve the right side, and see if I end up with the same thing. 12 plus 5 is 17. So I have 17 on this side. Let me see what I'm going to get on this side. I have negative 3. 4 times 5 is 20. 20 plus negative 3 is 17. I have 17 on both sides, so therefore this is my solution. So 5 in this problem is the answer to x. And let's solve one more. I want to look for my smallest x. I have a negative 3x and a negative 4x. Well, which one is smaller? The negative 3 or the negative 4? Well, the negative 4 is smaller than the negative 3x, so I'm going to move this negative 4x. So I'm going to add 4x to both sides. This is going to create a zero term. So on my right hand side, I'm left with negative 9. And on my left hand side, I have negative 3x plus 4x is just 1x, or we can just write x, minus 2. We have a one-step equation now, so I need to isolate my x. So I'm going to move this negative 2 by adding 2 to both sides. I have another 0 pair here. So x equals negative 9 plus 2 is negative 7. So right now I think x equals negative 7. I don't know it until I check it. So I have negative 3x minus 2 equals negative 9 minus 4x. Wherever I have an x, I'm going to write negative 7. So negative 3 times negative 7 minus 2 equals negative 9 minus 4 times negative 7. Negative 3 times negative 3 is a positive 21 minus 2. 21 minus 2 is 19. Let me see if I can get 19 over here. I brought, I'm going to bring down my nine, negative 9. Negative 4 times negative 7 is a positive 28. And negative 9 plus 28 is positive 19. So my solution is, my check is correct, and so therefore negative 7 is the solution to this equation. I'm going to stop right here, and in my next video I'm going to solve multi-step equations with distributive property. Again, if you have suggestions for my videos, please email me at mathetmoon 
at gmail.com and I'll be happy to make those videos.